Hello and welcome to all our viewers from around the world. I'm Kristen Schwarz, licensed midwife and MC here at Gold Midwifery. And I am so excited. I have two amazing midwives here with me today. We have Barbara Harper and Charlotte Sanchez. Welcome, the two of you. <laughs> Thank you so much, Kristen. It's a pleasure to be with you again. Thank you. It's lovely to see you both. Uh, Barbara, let me start with you. Um, it's such an honor to have you back here at Gold. And I know you've been very busy in the last uh, <laughs> few months and, you know, years here. Tell us a little bit about yourself and what you've been up to. Of course, uh, many of our viewers know you. You're an amazing midwife. You travel the work te well, teaching on water birth. Um, but give us a little overview and uh, tell us what you've been working on recently. Well, one of my passions is also hypnosis and blissborn birth hypnosis courses. And I, I set up and facilitated a, a, a teacher training along with a water birth training yeah. in Merida, Mexico in November. My host was uh, Dr. Felix Molina, who had the water birth workshop um, in 2018, and then he hosted it in 2019, and it changed his entire life. So he he begged me to come back and do. We were planning on one in 2020, and of course, you know everybody's mm -hmm. plans got put on hold, and we had a year of a retreat. I I I used my COVID year to study, to take mm -hmm. classes, to write, and and to develop more workshops and, and all of that is gonna be put out to the public um, uh, in, in kind of a drip system. Uh -huh. But I, I have to tell you, I, I went to Merida, Mexico in November of 2021 and we had 45 physicians and midwives uh -huh. from Mexico and Colombia, from Bogota, Colombia. Um, and I had three days with them for water birth training. And then we had uh, two days off and we had, I had them again for four days for hypnosis uh, teacher training. And it was monumental. It was transformational. We had doctors weeping saying, why don't they teach us this in medical school? Yeah. And, yeah. And, and doctors sending me messages um, always with the water birth workshops. And um, mm -hmm. it was, it was just so good. And I got to swim in the cenotes oh. and, <laughs> and go hiking. And so we've got big plans for Mexico for 2022 Beautiful. with more workshops of both water birth and Blissborn and some retreats that are going to happen. So come and bring your snorkel equipment and and sit with me on the beach mm. in the Yucatan and <laughs> and uh, Oaxaca and so I'm I'm just really excited and I also got to Dubai and Istanbul and uh, and Cairo for the whole month of December I was out on the road and I did not contract COVID. So um, I, my, my immunity has built up and I'm, I'm good and I'm not afraid to travel and fly anywhere at any time. So I'm back on the road. Beautiful. That's well, that's wonderful. Thank you so much for sharing that. You are such an inspiration <laughs> <laughs> teaching all over the world. And Charlotte, now to you, tell us a little bit about uh, yourself. You're an expert on breech birth, and this is our topic here, and we we'll talk about that in just a moment. But tell us a little bit about yourself and uh, your calling. Well, thank you so much for um, asking me to be on. Um, I actually have um, been really busy for 30 years just mm -hmm. practicing with a home birth practice. I did start out um, in the earlier years um, co-directing a birth center, and it was a freestanding birth center, and then went back into just um, private home birth practice and moved across the country and rebuilt a practice here in Georgia. Mm -hmm. So... Um, I would love for future endeavors to be some traveling with Barbara and we've spoke about um, a few different things and kind of in the works and I'm really excited but I was really honored to be asked to do this um, 
this endeavor with her, with you at Gold. Mm -hmm. And um, as far as breach, I um, I started out in the earlier years um, having a surprise breach, and mm -hmm. um, that's when I really delve into my studies. And um, and then here we are today. That's led me to where we are now. Mm -hmm. And um, you know, I've already um, taught other um, workshops and spoke about breach. And now I'm today here and I want to expand it even more. Wonderful. Thank you. And you brought up something really important there. You had this uh, surprise breach, right? And that changed uh, everything. And you uh, studied and, and uh, dove right into the topic and, and uh, really um, made it yours there. And uh, it's, it's such an, you know, it's, that's how things happen, right? And how often, you know, many of us have been at that point that um, uh, we know we were palpating, everything was good. And all of a sudden, oh, there is the surprise breach. And, yes. and we need to be prepared for that. And I feel like we don't have enough training. Um, I can't speak for everyone here, but like sometimes, you know, I, I'm practicing in the state of Florida where we are only um, allowed to have a breach. Uh, you're not allowed to facilitate any breach births, but we need to be prepared in a home birth setting for if there is a surprise breach, right? So training is utmost important and knowledge is important. And right. I'm so excited that you're contributing to this here at Gold and not only talking about breach, but also breach Water birth, and so you're combining two of the elements here, Barbara and you, and and um, this is really really exciting for us here. So, um, tell us what you are going to be talking about. Who who wants to start first? Maybe Barbara. Yes, because it was it was truly my idea. I mean, you contacted me and asked me if I'd be in interested in presenting this year, and I said yes, but only uh, on the breach water birth, but only if Charlotte could join me to illustrate with some of her her cases, mm -hmm. because I also had a breach water birth about thirteen years ago. Um, that was a surprise breach. Mm -hmm. It was, and I'm not going to tell that story in the presentation. Mm -hmm. And so I started taking courses. I and and um, the last big workshop that I attended was um, the Teach the Breach in uh, in Amsterdam, where all of the most amazing people, like Sean Walker, mm -hmm. and uh, the people that you're having on your um, uh, breach add-on uh, and I want to recommend that to everybody you must go to the breach add-on uh, with gold midwifery with Betty Ann Davis and Sean Walker and um, uh, Anka Reiter mm -hmm. um, it's, it's just going to be absolutely amazing um, and that's what the the conference was and I've gone to other things in Frank Lowen's workshops and and really understood that that if I'm attending a breach um, uh, or, or or a surprise breach because I go all over the world and people put me in delivery rooms in hospitals in China and hospitals in Egypt and hospitals in Dubai and mm -hmm. and they asked me to in Saudi Arabia they they asked me to be in charge mm -hmm. and so I want to be prepared mm -hmm. and not just that but Stuart Fishbein asked me why I'm studying breach and I said because I want to encourage people to take the workshops and and I want to encourage the providers who know breach to teach the breach. Mm -hmm. And uh, I think that's my my last sentence in in when I look at the research in this presentation, I put it in big bold letters, <laughs> teach the breach. Um, because normalize it, it's a variation of normal. And that's what this workshop is about. It's it's using water and uh, and or knowing when to get in, when to get out, what what maneuvers to do, and yeah. I could not do that without Charlotte. Yes, Charlotte, and uh, um, your thoughts to this topic? Well, I um, I know that there's um, uh, there's a lot of midwives that that are conservative, and they think that they you know, like are trying to avoid having a surprise breach. But when it happens to you, mm -hmm. it's really important to remember 
um, you know, the necessary things to help baby be born, and we could all end up there. And so that is the, the biggest reason why I decided to teach. I, I want to know, I'm like a sponge, and I want to know everything that I can, and then I want to share it. So um, that's what's brought me here to you today, you know, is to share all of that wisdom that I can. Um, but I, but I also think that, um, it's really important that everyone seeks out these workshops and these classes because they need to remember what they're learning. And, and it's not just from one person teaching it. I think mm -hmm. that they should take several classes on it and touch on it because even if they don't plan to do a breach, they may be faced with it. And, mm -hmm. you know, water birth is so popular now. Yeah. I mean, it's going to keep happening. And I've had midwives call me and mm -hmm. say, you know, I never expected this to happen to me. And I just, need to go through this with you and you know uh, did I do okay and you know I and and it's good to um debrief with midwives over yes. that and that's why I chose to take this on um was because you know like I don't want to hear about um negative outcomes I want to hear about positive outcomes and not because they're planning them but because they knew what to do when they were faced with it. Yeah, it's, knew what um, to do. Yeah, exactly. It's Go ahead, a little Barbara. bit. Yeah, Betty Ann Davis and I had this this discussion that um, we were sitting in someone's living room in Amsterdam, and and she was describing, you know, each one teach one, and uh, and the efforts that that. Um, the Breach Without Borders and the Bur Breach Birth Network in the UK are doing. And um, um, and I said, it's exactly what we did when we started Water Birth. We, we, we started the workshops and we started training midwives and, and teaching it. And look where Water Birth is today. Yeah. And, yeah. And, and by bringing Water Birth and Breach together, mm -hmm. whether you facilitate it in the water or out of the water, that's not important mm -hmm. the important part is we're we're bringing this forward and saying it's possible mm -hmm. just like we said in the beginning right. birthing the baby in the water is a possibility mm -hmm. and so we're saying that, birthing absolutely. a breech yeah. baby in the water is a possibility too yes yes and you brought up such a good point there look how far we come with water birth i mean I, when you started out barbara probably uh, people were thinking what is she doing in the water oh my goodness and now you know <laughs> yeah exactly people became informed and uh, you know we're giving them the research we're giving them the uh, information and now look where we are so our hope is of course now we have the research we have the information for breach that as barbara said it's a variation it's a normal variation of normal that maybe in a few years we're going to sit here again and talk and and we will say look where we are now yeah. that is my hope this is how absolutely Char charlotte <laughs> and i met in one of my workshops and she's come back to my workshop several times and and we've become friends over the mm. last uh, 10 years or so beautiful well, thank you so much to the two of you for being here with me today talking about this uh, amazing work you're doing. And I want to talk briefly about uh, the uh, presentation here that you will have at the Gold Midwifery Conference, which is not only a presentation, it is the keynote presentation, Whoa. the opening keynote presentation titled Breach Water Births Perspectives and Controversy. And the wonderful part about this is also that the presentation is open access. So everybody can join and uh, you know enjoy the, uh, the presentation and you will be presenting twice that day of course everything is recorded if anybody who's listening has to be at a, is going to a birth or catching babies or is busy of course uh, we have the recording available as well so I cannot tell you how excited I am how I am looking forward to this and we will get started on February 1st and you are, will be opening the Gold Midwifery Conference for us here so thank Wonderful. you both so much thank you for this opportunity and we look forward to seeing everybody please join us yes 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 
Thank you. And for our viewers now, if you would like to find out more about this amazing keynote presentation and of course the other presentations in the conference, we invite you to visit goldmidwifery.com. There you'll find all the times in your time zone and detailed information on the presentations and the speakers. Thank you everyone for watching and I hope to see you at the conference. Bye-bye everyone.